What is up everybody? Thank you so much for stopping on by to watch this walkthrough of Slides and Doors Escape 2. First, I want to do a quick thank you to everybody who has played my mazes, both uh, Slides and Doors 1 and Slides and Doors 2. You guys are amazing. I've gotten so much good feedback. Um, so many people sending me screenshots of them making it to the end. Um, it's really been so cool to see all of you playing this maze. Um, I've had a great time creating them. And secondly, I want to thank my co-creators and map testers, my friends. Thank you so much for um, taking your time and uh, helping make these amazing mazes and testing them out. Um, so those people I want to thank specifically are Ben, aka ABJ, Bailey, also known as Civ, CIV, um, Jacob, also known as OXLK, and Toe, which is Kyle. They are the co-creators with me. Um, and then I also want to thank my brother Jordan, which his name is Pink Elephants 5 in game, and Billy Renee in game. Um, our friend Billy, and then also Drew Dog, our friend Drew. Thank you guys for testing out the maze and helping us make sure everything ran smoothly before publishing. You guys are seriously the best. So there's all my thanks. Um, once again, my name's Mac Jack or Mac Jack Twitch. Please, if you would not mind at all, use my supporter creator code Mac Jack Twitch, M A C K J A C K T W I T C H in the Fortnite item shop. Um, I really appreciate all your support. And if you're not using my code, please use somebody else's and um, throw out your support to them. All right, let's get started. So this this escape was a lot more difficult than our first one um, in different ways. You know, I know a lot of people got stuck on level one of the first maze, but this one um, I wanted to make even more challenging. So if I could have put a, a larger title for this one, it would have been like, slides and doors more or something along those lines because there's just so much going on with this one. So we had, I think, three slides total in the last maze. There are 12 slides at the start of this one. So we really wanted to amp up the slides and doors aspect. And then as far as the doors go, we added a crap ton more doors as well. So let's get started here. Load in and you start your game. The first part is pretty simple. You're gonna go ahead and head on over to the rift spawn. So this one's pretty easy. You're just gonna wanna use the rift in this square and go ahead and jump on out. From here, I did put a number one right here. Looking down, assuming this one is one, it's gonna be slide number six. Go one, two, three, four, five, six. This is the slide you're gonna go down to get to the next level. But have fun sliding on the other ones if you'd like. All right, so you end up over here. You're just gonna follow the arrows. Go on down. We did take fall damage off of this game, so you don't have to worry about that. Now that you're at checkpoint two, what we did here is made a little path that you need to follow. So if you are looking at the arrows, you notice that there's two arrows pointing to a blank spot over there. There is an arrow pointing down over there. And if you look up, the traps are all the same aside from that one right at 156 over there. It's got two orange little blocks next to it. So that is our destination to get to the next level. Um, in order to safely cross this path, you're gonna look at the ceiling for the pattern. Any of the ceiling tiles that are facing south and north, so north and south ones, um, you're going to safely be able to access. So the ones going east and west are gonna send you straight to a trap, so avoid those. So first we need to get the bouncer item, which is gonna be down underneath that ice right there so you're going to go ahead and head that way if we look at the ceiling we know this tile is safe and the same with the one right across the next one across is not safe so we're going to go diagonal right here southeast and then we can safely jump onto the correct one here hit the bouncer jump on up i like to go back the way i came from although there is a path that you can kind of make it. So I'm gonna go to the front here. 
And now we're going to continue along the safe path. So go southeast. Southeast again. You're going to go northeast. Southeast. Southeast. Southwest. And southeast. So from here, I like to stay in this corner when you place that bounce pad. So it doesn't send you flying off when you're if you're a little too close to it. Um, this one, you want to get up into that over there. So you're going to jump at the corner of the bouncer and look or left corner to make it into that platform. So jump at the right corner of the bouncer and look in the left corner of the room. And you make it into level three. From level three, you've got a lot of door options you can go through. All of these are going to take you to incorrect paths. So you can just go past all those. The same thing going up the stairs is going to take you to a whole bunch of other doors. And all those are also incorrect. You're going to head under the stairs and through the hole in the wall. And straight through this patch of green bushes. Run pretty much straight south. You're going to come across a floor that you can drop through. And here you come across your first level 10 puzzle piece clue that you need to remember. So we've got a single lantern here. Just keep that in mind for level 10. And drop on down. Come across four doors. You're going to take the door to your west. It's going to lead you to this trophy table. You can jump on to the door, open the next door, and jump up. Keep that closed now. All right, and you can safely go across this booster area. And that is level three for you. Now you're at level four. So level four can stump you at first, but all you have to do is bait these two traps here. Go across, and that was a invisible wall. Um, this area here can stump a few. You do not need to go in any of these rooms here. You want to get across. If you look, you can also see there is a puzzle piece room over there that we need to access to get to look to get the clue for level ten. So from here, you're going to actually jump on the vines. So here's the vine here. And just follow that path along the edge. This one can be a little bit tricky. Some people think you need to make it to that vine, but you actually just need to make it to the booster. So you're just going to jump out and up onto the booster. Get your next clue for level 10, and it is an open sign. So you just need to keep that in mind. So far, we've seen a lantern, a single lantern, and an open sign. Continue down the path, and that will safely lead you to your next level. And we're at level 5. Right away, you've got another clue for level 10. It's going to be code 42331. I recommend writing that code down because it is important. You will need to remember it for level 10. All right, so once we're in level five here, um, basically what we did is a mirror object room. So you're in this room. You want to look at the objects and see what is different. So based on looking at everything in this room compared to that room, I can tell that the, the couch over there is a different color than this couch. So what we need to do is go out here, go to all of these doors, find the couch door which is going to be this last one on the, to the, the second to last one on the left side safe path you jump on the chair then up to the camera you shut the door first you're going to jump on the chair up to the camera open the next door and you're good to go and just keep on continuing you've made it to the next level all right and at level six, this is another clue level, puzzle level for 10. So you're going to just continue along, follow that arrow to go get your next puzzle piece. Bait the traps. Continue along. Bait this next trap. And in the puzzle room, you grab a launch pad. All right. Now, when you die, you do not lose your items and your inventory, so you can keep those. So now that we've got our clue, you're going to go ahead and continue on. So you notice you've got two bouncers up there and a way out, and you've got ramps with ice underneath. You can see it smoking. So here you're going to want to momentum skate your way up to the bouncers and over that 
ledge there. So what I recommend doing is running at the ramp and jumping as soon as you get the ice. I'm jumping at the end every time, kind of going at an angle. And just keep doing that till you get enough momentum. You will eventually hit the bouncer and it will send you over. Sometimes you can get stuck. That just means you're not getting high enough. Um, so we did put a checkpoint here for 6.5 for this next part because it can be a little difficult. So at this part, you're going to bounce up and uh, open the door. Now you're going to bounce back down or glide back down and bounce back up and land in the door. Luckily, that trap will not hit you with a new update. So from here, you're going to close the door and open it from this side and fall back down, jump up, land on the door. And you land inside the door. Grab that bouncer and now you're going to jump across and jump down. Definitely didn't need to do that, but we'll just go ahead and continue on down. From here, it's about placing the, the bouncer in the correct spot. You can place it on any three of these walls. I recommend the right wall. It seems to just work a little better for me. So you're going to bounce up and get high enough to land up top. And now that you've completed that, you can go to the next level. Slide on down. I didn't get ice. Get some ice, make it a little bit more fun. All right, gonna slide down to level seven. Level seven is the last spot you will need for a clue. Got your last clue for level 10. We'll continue. So we did get a smoke grenade here. The trick with this level, you see out has nothing, but there's a way all the way over south to exit out of here. So from here, this is all about your hitbox. So if you are looking close, you can distance throw versus up close. So you're looking for that close hitbox. So if I, if I throw it like that, that means there is nothing there to stand on. But if I look closely, there's something for me to stand on. So like far, nothing to stand on. Close, something to stand on. Nothing, something. So you just want to keep aiming. I try to aim a little bit north of the center of the trap. And that is how you can tell if it's safe. The square you're standing on is a complete square. And there is never any diagonal turn that you need to make. It's going to be a, a complete straight path that you need to make. Um, so we're going to continue just aiming the whole time. This tells me that's not safe. So we're going to go this way. Just keep aiming until you see a way that is correct. So we keep going safe. I recommend taking your time with this. It is a long path, but it helps to go a little slower so you don't mess up. And from here, you make it to level 8. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. All right, level 8 plays with the immunity factor that you get when you die and spawn. So when you die and spawn right away, you have like a 4 second immunity. Probably a little bit slower than 4 seconds. So that is what plays with here. So when you open, you see you have an ice and a boost and then in here is a trap so at the end you have two doors you need to go through um i recommend just going down and opening one of those doors to start with you'll know you have another door to go through so as soon as you die you're going to spawn you need to get the ice and immediately run through And you safely make it through. 
Now you are at level 9. From level 9, you've got an arrow telling you to go here. This is some math problems. So 6 plus 7 and a book is going to be 13 book. All right. So I recommend getting some speed boosters. If you look at this one here, you see there's a one up there and a 16. So it tells you the counting method of each wall. So we've got the book wall here. We're looking for 13. So all the way across is 15. We're going to go ahead and hit door 13 on that book wall. So 15, 14, 13 leads you to five times 12 with a deer head. And that is going to be 60 deer. So from here, go ahead and jump on off, get a boost again, 60 deer. You're gonna go 15, 30, 45, 60. So we're trying to get to that 60 door. We know that that is 15. 60 is on the second row, so second level. We'll go up this one and run all the way to that door. Here we are. You're going to get 8 times 6 with a chest. is going to be 48 chests. So we've got our chest wall over here. I don't know why all of those incorrect doors are shining. Kind of sad. Okay, though. All right, so we've got 48 chest is going to be 16. And we've got 30, 45, 46, 47, 48. Second level, 46, 47, 48. And here we've got 19 minus 1 with a chest. It's going to be 18 chest. 18 chests. You've got 16, 17, 18. You're going to go up to the second highest level. 16, 17, 18. And here, you got a little bit longer of a math problem to do. So you're going to go 9. Maybe. 9 plus 31 is 40. Minus 15 times 2. And then a deer head. So if you do all that in order, you will come to the answer 50 deer. So you're looking for 50 deer. If you need to redo that room a few times to get, to get all the math, I recommend doing that. So 50 deer is going to be 15, 30, 45 is going to be... 50s right there. So second level up. So 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. You end up in a room with a tire. Jump up. And if you look behind you, you've got 44 minus 8. 44 minus 8 and a chest. That would be 36 chest is your next clue room. Thirty-six chest. You've got 16, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. It's on the third level. So the second stair there. 30. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. 36 head into this room here all of these doors are gonna have a shotgun people in them you want to avoid them except for this one here 16 minus 1 deer head is gonna give you 15 deer head on up recommend getting some more speed 15 deer is gonna be all the way up on the top that very last door head on up Head in, and you've got a hay area here. If you head straight north right here, you will run into a hole in the floor that gives you 20 plus 1 with a book. 
this 21 book. Go ahead and run on out of here. 21 book. So we're, it's going to be on the second level. We've got 1530, so we'll count from 30 backwards. You go up this second stair here. 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21. You have a boost room here. Take that boost. And that gets you safely to level 10. Now, at level 10, this is where all those clues and items you got, the puzzle rooms, come in handy. So from here, we saw one lantern at the clue in level three so we know we need to go in this door not in this door this door will take you back to level one so hopefully you remembered to get those clues so go through that door here the one with one lantern and continue on this tells me you need to place the ice trap that you got at level seven so place your ice trap here Get some ice and go ahead and just skate your way across. Same thing here. This is where you need your launch pad. And launch on up. This is where you need that code that was in level 6, I believe. It might have been level 6. So the code that you got, nope, sorry, level 5. Code from level five was four, two, three, three, one. That tells you you want to go in door four first. Door two. Door three. Three again. And last but not least, door one. And it comes to here. We know we saw that open sign. This can safely take us up to the bouncers. You hit them correctly. <laughs> And get the checkpoint here. I gave you some gliders and some or some balloons and a grappler. You are at the GG room. Congratulations, you have beat Slides and Doors Escape 2. GG's to you guys. Make sure you guys do some kind of dance when you're in the room here. Just celebrate. Send your screenshots my way. I love seeing them. Um, I did create a little spectate area where you can go outside of the map and look at everything we've done. Um, also, feel free to use code MACJACK Twitch on your Fortnite item shop or in the Epic Store items as well. Um, I would really appreciate your support in that. If you're not using anybody, though, please go and find somebody deserving um, that's definitely going to help them out just a little bit. So use that code MACJACK Twitch if you don't mind. Please comment, let me know anything you liked, things you'd like to see, if you want me to do another map, make it a trilogy, or if you want me to do something completely different. I love doing these maps. So make sure you hop outside, explore the crazy creation that my creators and I pulled off with this um, map here. I think we just stepped it up so much from the last one. Um, I knew going into the second one I wanted to do even more um, slides because the feedback from the first one was that they loved the slide area. So um, I definitely wanted to make sure we got more slide action and I think we accomplished that here. This took, I'm going to say, probably 30, 35 hours to make total um, and that was with uh, I think five of us working on this. I mean so much time but so worth it so fun and i really really truly hope you guys enjoy playing um once again like this video leave any comments if you have any questions feedback want to see more comment let me know thanks so much for watching and i hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day